What's up guys, how you all doing? I'm Paul Tech Giant, welcome back to the channel. Now I've got something great to show you this evening, something I've been really looking forward to sharing with you guys, and uh, something rather big as well, and it is this 100 inch Vividstorm motorized projector screen. Now this isn't just any old projector screen because this is what is known as an ALR projector screen. And ALR stands for Ambient Light Rejection, which in simple terms means you are gonna get a far better picture with this projection screen over a traditional one because it rejects a lot of the ambient light. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get it unpacked, we're gonna take a look at the contents and we're gonna test out with a laser projector. Right, let's get this bad boy open then. Right, moving on then, and I've got a set that was really well packaged. You can be rest assured if you do order one that it's gonna arrive at your property safe and sound. So let's have a look at the contents then, and our first thing that we have is, uh, believe it or not, our instruction manual. Very well presented in this envelope, I like that. I like well presented things. So yeah, nice little touch that. Then we have these adjustment tools. And uh, these are used to adjust the like stopping distance of the projector screen itself. Then we have uh, a couple of remote controls, one white, one black. Both have got uh, brackets, so you can uh, mount them onto a wall or something. One is an IR remote and the other is an RF remote. Then we have a USB lead and a very good idea because this is for actually charging up the uh, remote controls themselves. So no batteries required. Then we have a uh, selection of screws there to mount that lot. Then we have this brush. This is for uh, cleaning the screen and then a USB stick. Now what you do with this is plug it into a projector. And when you turn the projector on, it will automatically send the screen up. So uh, yeah, very handy. And then finally, we have the power cable, which I will measure right now. And that comes in at 1.8 meters or 71 inches. Right, let's have a look at the actual controls on the screen itself then. And uh, pretty basic stuff. So we've got an input there for the power cable, got an on off switch and uh, got a switch there to send the screen up or down. And this IR receiver. Now also you've got these feet that flip out on uh, both ends and uh, they are rubberized so you can put this on like a uh, tabletop or something like that. And uh, they've also got holes in them so you could drive some screws through and uh, secure it down. Now before we move on to the interesting stuff, let's just take some measurements of the screen enclosure itself. So the depth on it is approximately 16 centimeters or six and a quarter inches. The height is, what's that, 11 and a half centimetres or four and a half inches. And finally, the length is 235 and a half centimetres or 82 and, uh, sorry, 92 and three quarter inches. Okie dokie, we've now got it plugged into the mains. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this screen up and I'm gonna show you guys it going up in real time. This way you can see how long exactly it takes and what exactly it sounds like. Plus I'm gonna show you what it looks like from the rear as it goes up. So without further ado, let's crack on.
Well, there you go. And I think that looks absolutely mint. What do you think about it? Do you think yeah, it looks good? Nice. Yeah, it's a nice bit of kit. And I know it's only a screen, but still a very nice screen indeed. And uh, as I've just shown you how it works from the back, and that is in conjunction with uh, these like nylon wires at the side. So you've got these little tabs that they uh, run through and uh, they keep the screen all nice and taut and that's what you want. You do want a uh, baggy 100 incher and uh, yeah, it looks really smart and uh, hopefully it will stay that way. It won't get baggy over time. Now, before I start showing you guys some demonstration footage, I just want to talk more about the ambient light rejection. Now, this screen is to be used with an ultra short throw projector, and that's exactly what we've got here. Now, a traditional uh, projection screen will be um, you know, generally white, which is great for reflecting that image back to you, but it also reflects all the ambient light as well, which you don't really want. Now, the way that this screen gets around that is that one of these projectors will fire that image up at the screen at an angle and then back out to you in the room. But it's really clever. So if I just show you guys, if we bend down here and we look up, the screen is like a whitish gray. But as we start to go up and look down, can you see how it's now looking black? And the further we go up, the blacker it gets to the point that the screen basically goes completely black. So now all the light that is shining down or from the sides gets absorbed. So we do away with that unwanted light. And as we come back down again to eye level, we get to see what would be the image. And once again, going back up, it turns black to uh, absorb that unwanted light. Now for my second demonstration, again, I think you guys are gonna like this. I'm gonna use the torch on my mobile phone to replicate the light coming from the projector. So as you can see, got a nice good scatter of light as the light is hitting it from an angle. But if we now go up to the top and point it down, you can see a lot of that light is now absorbed. So pointing up, pointing down. So yeah, pretty impressive. Now we've come to the part of the video that you've all been waiting for. So as you can see, we've got the projector turned on and firing onto this wall. Now if we're going a little bit closer, one of the problems with firing onto a wall is that you can see all the imperfections. So like we can see a nail sticking out there and the effect of the wallpaper. So it's not ideal, but it's not doing a bad job when you consider the very strong lighting that we have on in the room at the moment. But just look at the difference when I put up this screen. And I'm sure you will agree, it looks absolutely amazing. So just look at that image coming through now. How much better does that look? Yeah, it does look good, doesn't it? Now that is pretty impressive to be fair. Now the ambient light rejection is uh, doing a cracking job there. Like I said, those lights are really strong, but look how vibrant that looks. That is looking really, really good. That is a cracking screen to be fair. So I just put the screen down again. See the difference? I mean, obviously a wall is free, but yeah, it's a massive difference there. Right now we're gonna do the same test, but with the lights off. And as we can see, you can see the effect of the wallpaper just there. But doesn't look too bad, but let's just see how much better it is with that screen up. So, it's 
And that is a marked improvement, isn't it? Yeah, I, think so. I, I don't think the camera actually does it justice because uh, the camera is making it look sort of probably better on the wall than it actually does in person, I'd say. But that, that image is cracking on that screen now. So yeah, you know, if you are looking for a decent projector screen, then, uh, well, I can't say anything negative about it. It seems pretty good, doesn't it, in all fairness? I mean, I can't say I've really tested many before, but uh, yeah, I'd recommend it. Right, got another bit of footage then to show you guys, put the lights back on again. And to be fair, that screen is doing a cracking job with those really strong lights on there. We wouldn't have any problems watching that, would we, with that lighting on? No, no that you could easily sit there and watch that. Where I think if that was a traditional sort of, oh, yeah, you know, no, if it was one of those sort of traditional white projection screens, then yeah, it'd just really wash out. So yeah, I think that is doing a sterling job. Just gonna do one final test again, and uh, got the torch on my phone. And I'm just gonna throw in that extra bit of light. So the light from that torch is hitting the screen as the projector would do. So as we can see at sort of washing that out a little bit, but as we go up and point it down, it has very little effect at all. So that'd be ambient lighting, hitting that screen. Look at the difference. So when it's at an angle when it should be, and then when we don't want that light, that's what it does. Really impressive. Well, there you go then, guys. Now, if you do like what you've seen today, then I'll put a link in the description so you can go and grab one for yourselves. And uh, just a big thanks to Vivid Storm for sending this on over. Now, if you have enjoyed this video today, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of the same in the future, including some gaming tests on this screen with the Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5, then make sure you hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so you get notified of my latest uploads. So thanks very much for joining me today and hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye for now.